Okay, good evening. Uh, oops, sorry. Okay, good evening. Uh, let's start the uh, class today. I will share my entire screen. Okay, if you have any questions, oops, don't show this again. Okay. If you have if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, post it in the uh, chat box. Uh, just for your information, it might be interesting for many of you. Uh, this morning, okay, I did ha uh, have uh, was that webinar on large language model. Uh, you can check the copy of the uh, the recording of the webinar in my YouTube channel. Oops. Ah, okay. This is different channel. Oh, no center. Okay, this is my channel on no the center. Okay, uh, let me see. This is the uh, webinar this morning. It's about uh, large language model. Oops, too many L. Only two L actually. LLM. <laughs> so I have to edit this thing. I, I'm not authorized to edit using this account. Anyway, so feel free to check the... Oops. Uh. Okay. Uh, so this this webinar is organized by uh, LAN. So it it will show you how to build your own chat GPT. Okay, I will have to stop the first. Okay, so basically uh, in this webinar I show how to build your own chat GPT, your own Gemini, so you can you can play around with it. Uh, and then I am crashing one of my PC because of this morning webinar. Uh, it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> anyway, so feel free to check this uh, the copy of my webinar and then the way how to do it. Uh, I basically all the uh, material is on my wiki uh, on center.or.id slash wiki. Uh, uh, search using the keyword LLM then you you can uh, see how uh, we can build our own uh, chat GPT or uh, those things I use Olama in this uh, work it's free it's open source uh, but to add more model into it uh, we can I'm still working on REC Okay, so if you have any questions from the previous meeting, feel free to post it in the chat box. No questions? Okay. <coughs> so if you have any question from the previous meeting, feel free to post it in the chat box. I will try to uh, discuss the... Uh, I think many of you are are working on text. Uh, many of you are working on text rather than uh, on numbers. So. Uh, and in my materials, I am not putting text, so I will, uh, if I have time for today. So for today, we will discuss about forecasting. We did uh, discuss some forecasting active uh, method uh, last in the last meeting. So today I will, if I can squeeze the material into like an hour or so. Uh, or 30 minutes the rest I will put more effort to discuss about how to analyze text okay because uh, in my proposal there is no text analysis except LLM <laughs> so LLM will be discussed at the, uh, close to the end of the this meeting uh, this cl my class okay so uh, at the end of the my class I will discuss LLM but in uh, oh, do I have to add oh, what what is name again? Uh, let me see. 
ดูแอดดูแอดปาเดฟิเอเดฟินดรมาวันออร์ปาฮุสิสเนม I think I have to had one of you to be my co-host or something ปาเดฟินเนี่ยปาเดโอเดนาดีเดนาดี where is we Oh, you need to record the meeting. Oh, oh, you start your name with M. That's why I cannot find it. M, 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 M. Okay, okay, I will add as co-host. Anyway, so I record the meeting myself using. I'm not using the Google Meeting recording facilities. So I have I have my screen recording tools. So I I hope. My recording is okay for today. Anyway, uh, okay. If you have any question, feel free to put it in the chat box. Then I will. Go oh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, feel free. Okay. Now, uh, I will. I will try to uh, discuss about the forecasting very quickly. I did. Uh, discuss it uh, yesterday uh, in the last meeting. So to make things, so basically I need we need to create uh, the data training data, and then creating the model, and then creating another another data for forecasting, and then we can forecast something. Okay. Uh, The data itself, the easiest way we can build our own data. Where is it? Okay, this one. Here. Uh, oh, I think I I have to open my. Okay. So for example, we have this miskin dot excel, and then this is the one. Okay. So we have income, education, uh, time in education, house, uh, motorcycle, car, kids, uh, uh, loan, name, classification, stunting. Okay, depending on which target you want to to uh, forecast, other classification or stunting, these two are okay. Some of you send me email asking how can uh, we decide if we see a data like this. How can we decide which one is the target? Okay, you can use. Uh, we can you uh, instinctively. Uh, normally, I use the uh, label from human label as. A target. So this classification and stunting is basically labeled by you by human. So these two can be used as target, either classification or stunting. Uh, name is not good for labeling. <laughs> this is good for uh, information only. Uh, the rest is maybe this is like an organic uh, parameter built into the uh, data. So this. The the organic parameter is I'm not normally use the organic parameter as as the label as the target, so I will normally use this organic parameter as my feature. So these are feature. Uh, these two are targets. Uh, we have to select either classification or stunting as target. Of course, uh, these two can always be used as feature as well if you like. But uh, but I normally use this as as my target. Okay, uh, we can use uh, income as target as well if you like. So we, you can play around with it. But I normally use income as my feature. Uh, the rest will be uh, these two only if, or as my target. So having said that, uh, so I re I already run the orange here. I think I have problem with my orange because uh, so I I play around with the text facilities. I think I have 
problem when when installing the uh, tax uh, mining and taxable facilities. So I have problem in, in tax mining and the uh, taxable this this one taxable and tax mining. Some of the uh, function doesn't work properly. Okay, I give you some. Uh, oh, maybe later I can show. Okay, so uh, we can read file using this file, and then we can read uh, miskin. Okay, and then we can check the uh, data using data table, and then we can see the my our actual data. Uh, there is no target yet defined in the data, but we have 10 features, uh, one meta attribute, which is name, uh, and we have 37 instance. 37 instance considered very small, okay? Uh, normally, we have thousands of instance, okay? So, we have the data like that, and then we can select which one we, 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 uh, is used as our target, this is classification as our target. Stunting is ignore. Uh, the meta will be name. Okay. The rest is uh, feature. And then we can fit the data into model. I think uh, one of the good model to do these things may be random forest. I normally use random forest for this kind of data. If you like, you can save the data. We can save the model like this. Okay. So yeah, you are welcome to save the model. Having saved the model, then we can use the model later on. But we save. Uh, we need to define the uh, fi name, file name first. We can save as something. So we have to define the uh, name of the model uh, if you like. Okay, so we can save and define, and then we can save the model. Having the model ready, then we can do prediction. Here, prediction. In prediction, we need to uh, get the, the uh, <coughs> we need to fit the model into the prediction widget, and then we need to read another file with similar structure. The structure must be the same. So this one is. Uh, different in penghasilan let me check let me see the difference it's sorry okay this is the first data and then this is the second data let me see the difference. We can close this one so I can see as many columns as I, oops, oops. I can see as many columns as I can. And then let me see, okay. So this is the original uh, data. So, Basically, I multiply by 10, 10 times larger. So I increase the income to 10 times. Oops, how come this one is not changed? <laughs> this is unfair. <laughs> so this is increase, increase, increase. Uh, 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 17, 1, 2, three. Oops, this is unfair. Only one is change. This is change, 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 change. This one the same. Oops. This one, two, three, six, six. This is six. Oops. Okay, I think I have problem. Okay. Uh, okay. I have to cheat a little bit. Okay. I will file. Save as. Uh, this one. Okay. Now I have to change. Uh, I add zero here. I 
I think I, I should be able to do it more efficiently. Oops. <laughs> okay. Okay. I multiply by, by zero. So this is uh, as a government office uh, or a planning bureau in government, they can do something like that. This, so we can increase the certain parameter and see what happened to the, the classification uh, obtained from, okay. So I increase 10 times, all of them 10 times. So I increase all incomes, income in, uh, by uh, 10 times. Okay, save. Okay. Okay, let's reload. <laughs> uh, reload. Okay. Let me, let us see. I think this one is much better now. Okay. This is one, two, six, four, five, six. Okay. So this one is 10 times than this one. See what happened. We have to select the same column. Oops, sorry. Okay, and then we can fit the uh, data into prediction and we can see what happened. So one change, this one is not changed. One change, uh, this one, one change. And then this one, one, two, four, total, uh, five, six, seven, uh, whoops, this is wrong, okay, and then this one, uh, eight, so we have around eight or nine chains out of 37, so in total, we we can claim using by adding uh by, by increasing the income uh by uh by increasing the income by by 10 times then we can have like 8 out of 37 uh it's sorry not multiply So we have a 21% increase. Okay, uh, change the status from uh, one status to another, but increasing status. So basically, we have we can claim something. So this is the finding. This is the the reason for uh, forecasting. Okay, any question at this point? Can you share your so we can use it in practice in knowledge? Okay. I uh, will sh you you can build your own if you like uh, now how can I upload <laughs> can I upload here no okay I will I will send by email then okay you're welcome okay now I I have to check the Uh, I will upload, uh, I will send as many files as I can. Uh, okay. How come I can click new message? Okay. Uh, okay. I will try to send as many files as I can. Uh, let me send uh, this one. 
I will send where is this miskin miskin I will send <laughs> this is only what uh, uh, 17 K byte uh, this one I can send this one I will send uh, so you can play around with it this is weather uh, and then another weather or oh, this one the uh, animal if you like to play around okay we have penghasilan we have uh, where is it? Prediction. So you can play around with this. Uh, I make program number one, program number two, program number three. This is meaning the uh, example program for the government. Okay. I forgot program number one is what maybe we increase the uh, income program number two maybe we we adding more houses for each person something like that so we you can play around with this number two number three and then number where is it four okay Okay. Whoops. Should be okay. Or uh, I can send it by my Gmail account. Otherwise, Google will suspect me as a spammer. <laughs> okay. It is sent. Okay. Now, so basically. We, we can do something like this with other data. For example, oops, sorry, wrong. No, I think that's okay. I will read. Uh, program number one. Let's see what happened. Okay. So what happened in program number one? Oh, I think I add uh in the first uh in the previous file i multiply all all income with uh 10 times uh, in this one i add i add what uh 200,000 for each income so this is uh basically i increasing the income but adding a certain number let me see uh, what is program number 2 Program number two. I think I add which which one I add this one. I forgot. Oh, I think. Oh, this masculine as well. Nope. I know. I forgot. Let me see the difference. I think I add the number of years here. Let me see if I correct. No. No, I forgot what is program number two. So, uh, so basically different program, different, different variable. And then we can evaluate which one is best from budget point of view. So if uh, we add this uh, the income, how, mu how much budget we have to spend. If we increase the education, how much budget uh, we have to spend. From that kind of point of view, then the government can decide which program they, uh, they will pick to change the status of the uh, people. That's it. Okay. Now, okay. Now, let me see if, if I miss something. Okay, so 
uh, I've shown you how to basically to create the testing data we can use Excel the actual data in the uh, the uh, government planning body many of the data is in Excel form so we can use the same data and then uh, you, you already seen the test score and algorithm we can save the data and we can do forecasting basically uh, all the material we need for this meeting has been covered but we can always uh, play around with different models different data basically uh, but the the id is the same now because many of you are uh, playing around with text i think i will shift the material for today into text analysis okay uh, because many of you actually uh, have to analyze text not only uh, what's that? Uh, not only numbers. Uh, so uh, I I need to tell you how to analyze text. Uh, we can. Okay, I will close this one. Okay, I will remove this one. There are several type of text. It uh, we can have text as variable in the data for example this one i will choose the uh, data set with text in it let me see uh, car 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 evaluation here including titanic if you remember the in our first meeting i showed the titanic and then uh, it has text as the variable so we have this kind of text uh, this is not the whole sentence this is only text as a label so uh, the treatment for label and sentence is different okay so if it is label we can treat the uh, variable uh, the column as very similar to numerical values okay so if it is label if it is sentence then we need to to use the uh, text mining or taxable uh, widget if it is only label like this one we can treat this as similar to variable uh, so as number okay because this is this is only label so we can treat the uh, variable here similar to uh, numbers okay did i have i used this i think i already show you this one right i forgot <laughs> so so basically this is how to select a car so we have unacknowledged that is an acknowledge. Acknowledge means someone will buy the car, and then the buying price is very high. High. Uh, we have several variables. Yes. High, very high, high, and uh, we have 1,728 instance. So this is big actually. Very high, high, medium, and low. Okay. So the uh, buying the price can be very high high medium low the maintenance cost very can be very high high medium low number of doors two four uh, number of person two four and more and the luggage small big uh, medium and then the safety low med and uh, so we have this kind of text basically what we need to do is check first check the uh, algorithm uh, let me see Okay, we have uh, one target with four values. So this is the target. Car is the target. It has four values. So b basically, this is like a classification uh, problem. So we have target, car, and it has four value. Uh, we have uh, unacknowledged, means not uh, not okay, and okay, okay, and then what else? <laughs> mostly okay and not okay looks like two does it has other than that oh this one good and very good 
so they have good and very good and then an ACC and ACC okay now we have we, we can uh, test several, several algorithm to do these things we have logistic regression it's normally used for classification we can use tree we can use natural forest we can use gradient boosting uh, many things and then we can test which one is best Okay, no, oops, 19 minutes. Gradient boosting is very uh, slow. Basically, three is the best. Random forest is close to three. Uh, gradient boosting is the best. Okay, of course, we can always change the par uh, parameter here. So we can change the uh, parameter here. Uh, if we can the number to trees, it can be fair, uh, more precise. Uh, but longer time to process basically okay so we can change the parameter here if you like uh, if you don't i personally normally my preference would be random forest but in this this case the rent, uh, gradient boosting seems to gi to give a better precision okay now uh, but for for <laughs> to get a uh, to get the result uh, quickly, I will choose random forest. Okay. Now, uh, eh, no, 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 no. Don't don't use random forest because I want to see the uh, decision tree. So I need to use tree because I need to see the decision tree. So I need to use tree. Then because of the uh, use of decision tree we can have three viewers okay now so three three viewer with only uh, will work only with uh, three algorithm uh, so three viewer works with three algorithm so if we want to see the three viewer we need to use three as the algorithm then we can see here see most people will select the uh, car based on the number of person in the car uh, they prefer four or more person if it is only two person they are not preferred and then after person they will check for safety if it is medium uh, if it is low it's not preferred medium in and high is preferred and then after that uh, we see the uh, price after price then maintenance uh, after maintenance then we can see the luggage okay uh, or oh, this is safety and back to safety again so basically uh, stop till maintenance and luggage here okay so that's how the uh, this is the uh, decision tree okay so this is important if we have a table with many features then we can tell which features will be analyzed first to do the to have to to get to have to get to a decision then we need to decide which feature is used first in this case the number of person in the car will be used first this is the first features we use then we can use safety and then uh, cost of the car and then the maintenance if we see a table then we have to think not all the feature will be used for decision so we need to analyze which feature will be used for decision this is how we do it okay so it's very simple like this and we can see which one is used uh, for the decision process okay uh, this is important actually for uh, for uh, CEO, CIO, for leaders, for managers. So all of this guy have to decide on something. But if uh, to be able to decide safely, then we need to analyze the data and check which one is actually the most important feature in the data. So using this kind of approach, we can see how, uh, how people actually do these things. The same thing if we analyze the Titanic. I, I just give you some reminder about, okay, where is the Titanic? 
copy this one so using titanic we can see uh, sex will be number one for decision whether you will die or not die uh, yes is die <laughs> <laughs> yes is live I mean okay yes is live uh, so uh, female will likely to live male will likely to die and then in female you we can see the status whether you are if you are a third class then you will likely to die if you are a, f a first class or second class or crew you will likely to live so third class uh, if you are uh, don't have enough money you will die <laughs> this is an, in a ship in titanic and then if you are old you will die adult die uh, if you are uh, kids you will live uh, and then then how so this is how how the decision for dying is decide sex status age for female for male sex uh, age status different okay Okay, so that's the, uh, this is not prediction, this is basically decision support system. Okay, now we are at 7 o'clock. If you have any question, put it in the, okay. How to determine the best method for prediction? Do we need try one by one, some regression method, then prove the best model? Do we have to identify data set first, decide best method? Okay. The uh, when we need to decide which method or which algorithm uh, is best for certain data, we need to test using test uh, test and score. That's it. Okay, so we use this one. Okay, now uh, as I showed you earlier, uh, to use this one is. Just uh, fit the data into test and score, and then fit the algorithm into test and, te and score like this. Yes. Freeze. Wow. Okay. I think I have a problem with. Okay. I have. I. I will stop sharing and then share again. entire screen okay oh it's really it really wow wow okay okay uh, let me see which one <laughs> I think someone have to shout. Eh? Terima kasih, Pak. <laughs> okay. Uh, when was my last time? Let's me. I have to remember. Uh, I show the uh, this data set. Is it freeze or not during my presentation about the data set? This scar evolution. Is it freeze at that time? Let. Me. Okay, I, I will repeat from this car evaluation uh, and also answering the uh, questions. So basically, okay. So the questions. Okay, the question is how to determine best method for prediction. So, okay, do we need to try one by one? The short answer: yes. You need to try one by one. Okay. Now, how can we uh, try one by one by doing this one? Test and score. Okay. So we need to fit the data set into test and score. And then we need to test which algorithm uh, will give you the best uh, prediction, basically. For each data, normally we will have different ups. Gradient boosting will take longer time. <laughs> okay, 20, 40%, 40, 50%. 
so so we are interested in the this one the prediction uh, precision okay precision means uh, precision means how precise uh, the algorithm uh, can predict okay so of course we need to uh, select the one that give the highest precision okay uh, three uh, sorry gradient boosting at uh, at this point will give you nine, 98% pre precision of course we, we can play around with this one the cross validation random sampling uh, will give will give you different results okay okay uh, but normally this one is okay then I have to wait again. <laughs> okay. Uh, 64%. Okay. How about random sampling? So we can we can play on, uh, how many times we can repeat, train, and test things. And then how many percentage of the data set used as uh, training set we can change this one so we can play around with this and then we can have some feeling about our data okay and this one same gradient boosting will give you the best results okay but gradient boosting cannot be used to show the decision tree so if we want to have a decision tree we need to select three okay now uh, for different data set uh, will give you different results uh, for example this this one breast cancer okay okay uh, so in breast cancers uh, uh, data set we can see the precision we can only get it, uh, up to uh, 68 68 something percent and uh, logic logistic regression and random forest uh, random forest will give you a best results gradient boosting is not good as random forest we can always change the variable of the algorithm by changing this one okay so we can always change this and then see what happened if we want to compare uh, one algorithm but different variables we can do something like this so we can have two random forests Okay. Okay, but this one we change the the, for example, we change the number of trees into twenty. So hopefully it can be it, it will give you uh, a better results. Hopefully I don't know. So we have two different random forests, one with ten number of trees, uh, and then this one is twenty number of trees, and then see what happened. So we have number forest one. See, it's increased. Okay, so with one uh, algorithm, we can create the same algorithm but different parameter. We can have mo uh, different models like this. Okay, so we can check which uh, which parameter will give you a better results and compare to the other one. Okay, so for example, so for example, I want to uh, evaluate only one. Uh, sorry, one variable like this. Okay. So we can have uh, one algorithm, but different variables. We can change around. Uh, see, uh, this is numbers for S2. Uh, limited uh, individual tree into five, for example. Give you a worse result, I guess. So this one is uh, not, not that bad. But I think this one is best. That means we, if we end, we can increase the uh, number of trees. That but mean uh, we need to add more CPU time by increasing this. Then we can have uh, better results. Uh, oh. Okay. Let me see if I can change this one. The random forest two is fifty. Random forest one is thirty or something. One is thirty. See what happened. Only slight increase, but this one is sort of the maximum we can get. 
from the data. So that's how we play around with the uh, parameter, the in, uh, internal parameter of the uh, random forest, uh, certain algorithm. Okay. Hopefully that will give you some idea. Uh, so it's very depend on the data set. Different data set, different model, different parameter. So it's very different from uh, uh, for different data set. The problem is, okay, the uh, okay. Oops, sorry. The problem is, uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, if we see the data set like this, the problem is. Uh, the data set we see here is basically static data set is fixed if you can imagine a, a government office the, the data set is not static it's it's changing every year we have different data set every year we have different uh, activity in the uh, people so actually the data is changed every year so every year we need to was to train the model <laughs> so <laughs> it's not as easy as that because every year the data sets is different for uh, for especially for government office okay the data sets different every year uh, okay but to play around we can use a static data set first and then we can uh, change uh, the data set having said that uh orange have have this capacity here time series let me see if i can play around with time series uh, let me see if i have uh, example in time series text prediction author prediction uh, no example in time series okay anyway so in time series time series is for example the uh, price of uh, price of uh, stock market so we can have price of uh, this is Amazon from 2019 to 2024 for example we can download the uh, oh fail I cannot access the Yahoo Finance okay uh, okay yeah they they are not allowing us to download now so they block this one but basically in time series we need to uh we can but the, we have no other sources <laughs> our source will be uh, excel file now uh just to give you some, some id it has the so orange has the capacity that has the ability to predict uh, time series data so for example uh, yahoo finance we can have a uh, stock market or we can have uh, if it is economical data we can have uh, uh, what's what's the let me see what's the what's the type of economical economical data uh, time series okay Uh, we have uh, financial data let me the type of data so uh, GDP uh, let me see uh, basically we have like economical data we have what uh in the bank we have uh i'm not economist so i'm i'm not good <laughs> uh oh this one see oops uh, so we have uh this one so we have stock price interest rate exchange rate uh other economic variables 
and these variables are time series based on time so we can get the uh, excel file based on this economical data then we can uh, uh, predict using so we can uh, this one is yahoo but now we need to load the data using uh, excel or something okay now having the data but this one we don't have data because we have no longer uh, yahoo i think closing the access to their data if we can access the data then we can have uh, several model to predict time series uh, arima far models but from my experience this time series type of data we can only predict like very short distance for example if we have monthly data or uh, daily data uh, stock market data we can only uh, predict like one or two days in uh, in advance that's it we cannot predict like one month or one year it's nearly impossible so yes we have facility to do prediction like that but it's not as easy uh, it cannot we cannot predict for far uh, far uh, far in the future so we cannot predict uh, that far so we can only predict like uh, two days from now or uh, that's it okay so yes we have this now normally in time series data this is how we cheat basically uh this is what happened with uh the bank indonesia or ojk so they 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 need to analyze time series data data but this time series data is not about uh, stock market price or interest rate this time series data is more on the uh, uh transaction who uh, transfer a fund to different account so they need to monitor that kind of transaction basically they need to monitor any fraud in the transaction so what they do when do they analyze this data like that they actually they are not uh, using these facilities basically they actually take snapshot of the transaction okay uh, this this to give you some idea only so basically all transaction money transaction in indonesia is time series okay uh, this hour uh, this date this hour how many how uh, how many rupiah transfer from one account to another account so they have that kind of data uh, normal so they have a normal transaction and then if there is a uh, huge transaction it's not normal then uh, basically odd layers transaction is not normal and then uh, it will alert the uh, the uh, person in OJK or in Bank Indonesia and then they will alert the bank to stop the transaction okay so they they do like that uh, it, they may I I haven't used this they may use this kind of uh, moving transform sliding windows and something like that so they may use something like that but but in the real the much simpler method basically they snapshot every like uh, five minutes or ten minutes they snapshot the transaction every five minutes and then compare to the average transaction every five minutes if it is similar then it means it may be normal if it is uh, there is if there is a spike in the transaction it may be not normal then they have to alert the different bank so so they basically change the time series into static transaction but different time okay so that's how they do it okay that's about time series now i i move into uh, text uh, so we have text mining and we have taxable okay uh, i think in the uh, example we have something about text as well here 
but this is more interesting this is the uh, I have problem with my uh, text taxable uh, widget so it may not work but I hope it's this one is working but this one is not working uh, let me see the author prediction of tweet okay this one is author prediction of tweet so we have a uh, corpus uh, this is 2016 tweets of the election in US not in Indonesia <laughs> this is the tweet in US and then basically we can see the data the corpus corpus is basically excel file with text in it so this is excel file so we have the author hillary clinton or donald trump so they have two authors and then this is the source and this, uh, we have the content so the content is text basically uh, and then we have uh, original author place tweet uh, retweet through all false we have uh, time English uh, language uh, retweet count favorite count and then coordinate longitude latitude okay so we have that uh, let's see if what kind of things we can play around with this kind of data okay I, <laughs> I really hope the uh, the the there is uh, there is no problem with my but I know I have problem with my text mining and uh, taxable module okay so we can always make a model out of it or we can always uh, what's that we can always play around directly from the data we have so uh, this is the uh, I, I will remove this we don't need this one okay oops okay okay so this is the data and then I move in uh, I feed the data into pros pre-processing for text basically basically in pre-process text we can transform transform our, all the text into lowercase we can remove essence we can parse the HTML we can remove URL whatever you can click all of them if you like okay so uh, we can make all the text into plain text and then we we can tokenize the text based on uh, word punctuation white space sentence or tweet because we are dealing with twitter with tweet we can uh, tokenize the text based on tweet we can filter the stop words stop words is the uh, uh, words connecting different id for example, uh, words that have no meanings. For example, e, uh, it has no meaning. An, it has no meaning. The, it has no meaning. So that kind of words we can remove. So we can remove stop words. We can remove number. We can remove uh, slash, comma, uh, so on. We can remove. So we can remove this. We can, uh, we can feed only the most frequent tokens how many most frequent token and we we can play around so we can pre-process basically the text before we do the actual processing uh, if the text is too much too many texts uh, normally we we can select most frequent tokens okay if you so this this one most frequent tokens will reduce the amount of work because we will analyze only 250 or whatever you you can decide okay now so we can we can play around with this thing okay now uh, close this one 
Now back overs is different. Back overs is like this. Basically, uh, it will count. In back overs, basically we we will count uh, how many words uh, for certain words. For example, uh, let me see. Let me show the data first. Let me see the content. So, for every single uh, content, uh, every single words, it will count. How many question? Uh, how many question? Not how many questions. Yeah, how many question word in this text? So this is one. I don't know how the other. And then uh, the we remove the, we remove in normally. Uh, who is not removed? who so we have one who we have one question we have one election one who one plans and so on so basically backwards back offwards we we calculate not calculate we count uh, for its words how many okay so based on that basically it will create a database uh, we can see it as database uh, with word and number uh, and frequency of the, the, that particular word. Uh, we can visualize this as a coordinate or a, a coordinate with many axes. So the word becoming the axis. Okay. Now we can we can visualize this the actual sentence becoming a factor okay so uh, that's how how we measure this thing the same thing is the same process is happening with llm in large language model we actually do the same thing okay so we 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 will uh, tokenize its uh, its words and then we will measure how many times uh, it appear in the text and normally we save this in LLM in large language model. We save this into factor database. Okay, that's what they call it. Basically, we create we we transform a text into factor. Okay. Factor basically uh, it has coordinate in a factor. Okay, but the axis is the word becoming the axis of the factor. Okay, so that's how to visualize this thing. Now, okay, so we have this kind of data. So we have this kind of data. Uh, we can see, we can measure which one, which what type of uh, text is uh, favorite what type of text will be uh, retweeted by most people and we can see the longitude and latitude for a certain text uh, i really hope the <laughs> the widget is working uh, we can use that data sampler if you like this is make the data becoming smaller so we take sample of the data this is only 20% of the data use as uh, it's sampling 20%. Okay, if we want to minimize the uh, process. For example, I want to see whether uh, I can do something with small number of data. See uh, if I can. Ah, see? <laughs> it crash. Okay. I think I have a problem, so I cannot show this. Uh, let's try again. I, I think it will crash. Crash? Crash. Okay. So basically, if it works, if it doesn't crash, we can fit the data here. Okay. But it doesn't work because this one is crash. Uh, then we can have the uh, word cloud. Okay. Uh, word cloud is something like this. Word cloud, 
so we can have this kind of image basically uh, uh, it will it can visualize uh, which words uh, what no 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 it can visualize the way it visualize the data it increase the size of font uh, depending of how many times uh, the uh, the counting of the this particular words if it frequent the size will be bigger if it is not frequent the size will be smaller uh, based on that we can see which word is the uh, the most frequent use words okay that means we can see uh, what issues is dominant what kind of issues okay but sometimes certain issues has two or three words okay uh, if we have if we have we if we have that kind of uh, situation we need to analyze uh, that with different method so this is if the issue is only one word one word is easy so we can use word cloud and we can see the 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 issues by by uh, calculating number of time it appear in the text okay if it is frequent the uh, phone will be bigger if it is less frequent the phone will be smaller and then we can see what kind of issue is is uh, is discussed in the text okay now if it is if one issue have different uh, have uh, correlation if one issue have two or three different words then we can we we need to see the uh, connection the network of the words okay for example so this one doesn't work sorry my oris is not installed properly uh, we can uh, change the corpus into networks uh, we can fit it like this Oops, sorry, it is too many. I will change into 250 most frequent tokens, or maybe 100 most frequent tokens. Okay, so I will use this one to make the processing faster. Okay, it will, it will calculate first. Okay, let me see if it, it can calculate correctly. I will remove this one first. Remove. Okay. Okay. Now it's finished. Now I fit this here. Uh, so I have only uh, 100 token fit from the uh, pre-processed text into corpus network. Using this kind of method, we can see uh, the relation from one word to another so one word is correlate to uh, which word okay in word cloud we can only see the number of times uh, the most frequent word used in the text but we cannot see the context we cannot see the correlation using the network we can see the correlation we can see the uh, the uh, context of this particular issues okay uh, well 21 percent very slow eh? okay if we have the network then we can so basically we use corpus to network to generate the data from corpus into network and then we can visualize the network using this one the graph this is basically graph not graphics this is graph uh, I have to tell you something about graph network okay so basically we will see something like this okay so it basically calculate uh, and then it will it will calculate uh, how many times this connection uh, happens okay now so we have vertex we have edge in graph we have that we have vertex we have edge and then in the if the uh, if the uh, algorithm is good enough it will calculate how many times this edge is uh, happening 
Okay. Now, the more normally when we visualize a graph, a more frequent edge will be thin, uh, thicker. This will, uh, if it is more frequent, this one is more thicker. If it is less frequent, this is the this particular edge will be uh, thinner. Okay. Uh, then we can see, okay, this is important. This is not as important as this one. So if we have two network, uh, two words, we can do something like that. Okay. This is very important. This kind of visualization is very important uh, because we can actually see uh, what happened in the text. For example, this one. This is one example. Drone Amprit. Uh, we can see the the this is the fightings between uh, pro anis and contra anis. Uh, so we can see this is from Twitter basically. Okay, uh, and the, we can see the fight. Let me see. Let me see if I can show you something. Okay, this is. The bad guy, this is me, and this is uh, Ismail Fahmi. Ismail Fahmi is the one who who wrote Drone Emprit program, and then we can see this uh, on sc uh, big screen like this. Okay, Ismail Fahmi uh, was my student, so he did his undergraduate uh, under my supervision. <laughs> okay, so uh, so this is the example. This one is hashtag with hashtag turunkan Jokowi. Uh, this one with hashtag gejayan memanggil. And these two uh, front uh, fight with one another. Oops, 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 oops. So, oops, okay. So we can see these two front fight with, with one another, and we can see the uh, this one is from tw Twitter basically. Uh, we can see uh, these two front fight with one another. We can see the interaction here. Uh, this one fighting with this one, uh, one retweet, one answer, and so on. Uh, both has uh, buzzer. This one is actually buzzer. We can see buzzer. Buzzer is not. Uh, Buzzer is not normally react to other uh, postings. If it is human, normally it will react to other postings. Okay, so when the, this reaction is by human, if it is buzzer, it's it will not react to others. So buzzer is like this. So we can see who's the buzzer. So this is the actual buzzer. This is the actual buzzer. It uh, this one it has many buzzer. Uh, Gejayan memanggil has less buzzer seems okay but this one uh, has more people actually but from the uh, text it seems uh, so turunkan Jokowi is not student <laughs> so this is more robot this one is more student <laughs> So we can analyze something like, like that, okay? <laughs> okay, let me see if uh, this one finish. Okay, this one finish. So we already have the network here. Let me see if I can visualize the network. network. We can network uh, explorer, we have network analyze. We can play around with this one, okay? Oops. Okay. Okay, let me see if I can. Number of node. Now uh, we can explore. So we can. Oops. Okay. It need to. Oops. It's hang. Orange is not responding. Ah, 
Okay. I think I have a problem. Or I already changed the uh, processing into 100 token only. Okay. So this is the layout. The network is too large to visualize. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I think I have to re reduce again most frequent networks into uh, 20. Okay. So Oh, worse. Let me see if it is one. So we have play around with the parameter here. So the node type is word. I previously I set as document. So I'm wrong. So I have to change into words. So I have four hundred fifty Oh, so we have 62. I hope this one is. See, the, we have this. Uh, normally, it give the node size. Uh, show le legend. There is no legend here. It's becoming only 11. <laughs> But there is no legend. How come there is no legend? Wow. Oh, label. Oh, no label. I need the label. Oh, the label not show up. So basically, if I did it correctly, uh, each note will be label. Uh, uh, as words and then we can see here uh, these two is frequent the this one is a little bit frequent the rest is not as frequent as these two okay so but uh, I lost the label so I cannot tell more than that how can I get the label well this one is not as good uh, Let me see if I can get label here. Nope, no label. Okay, I, I have to look for the label. So you, you need to play around with this. Uh, let me see if I can, 100. Okay. How can I get the label basically? Oh, sorry. I have to recalculate again. Nope, same. Okay, let me see if I can get the label that way. Nope, I'm not getting any label. I think I'm in trouble. No, no label. No label. Okay. So, uh, if it is correctly done, I can get the label. No. No, it, show, it, it doesn't show anything. Because there is no label. So, I'm in trouble. So, Okay. We play around. Really odd. Okay, so basically I, I, I don't get the label. If I can get the label, then it will be more fun. So we can see what happened here and so on. So I don't know where I can get the label from. <laughs> from the tweet. Uh, or I change the corpus. Okay. For example, I can change the corpus into uh, Anderson. Anderson is the uh, book from... Uh, Kids, we have 
uh, Ugly Duckling, Philosopher Silverstone, this is the uh, Anderson books. Okay. Let me see if I can I can get something. Let me see if I can get no label, same. But this is the graph we can get. So I have to play around with to get how the how 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 I, we can get the label here. If we if we, if we can get the label, then we can see the relation from one to another here. Okay. Uh, I did programming this manually using python uh i think two or three years ago uh like this we can we can see the label here so there is a label for each node okay uh if we do it manually if you like i this is my book actually oops and the publisher okay uh, let me see I can get the book uh, where is text mining this one text mining so yes I but this one using Python there is no orange here this is Python only uh, and uh, on this one I uh, show how to analyze the text and then labeling the note and then we can show the actual graph okay uh, it's good to be able if we can use these things then we can see the uh, uh, how strong is our brand what the reaction of people to our brand and so on uh, basically using text mining okay so in in this one in orange it has the capacity to do text mining and it has the capacity to do the uh, graph and networking and so on but the problem is i need to i i need to be able to correctly set the uh, pre-processed text and so on to get the uh, label uh, let me see well uh, you can i hope you can play around basically the aim is to get the label and see the uh, the uh, what's that the uh, graphic with label then we can play uh, we can we can say something about our data if there is no label like like this uh, then we are in in in, in trouble whoops okay How about if we fit it directly like this? Can you? So this is direct. <laughs> I hope I still can get the label by make a direct connection between corpus network and then visualize, explore the network. Nope, no label. Oh, yes, there is label. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's try on our previous data. Election tweet. Content. Reload. Okay. Uh, let me see okay no type is words we have 120 words okay ah now we can okay this is too many notes i i think i need to remove some of the uh, notes by uh, reducing the uh, number of token for example this one so we only analyze 30 most frequent token and then we can 
Ah, oke. Okay. Still too many. Uh, Oke, okay. uh, let me see if I can reduce it. Oke. Okay. I only show the most frequent one. Ten. Forty. Enggak pernah kok ada pembinaan dari mereka. Eh, twenty. Sekali gue belajar. Ternyata kemarin juga. Oke. I hope it's. Oke. So, kiki kiki kiki. Let me change a little bit. Oops. So we need to play around with the uh, variables. I hope I can get something. Okay, we can see. This is about uh, uh, this word is frequently used. Donald, Donald Trump, and it has have relation with Hillary, and uh, Hillary have relation with president. And president also have a relation with Trump. Okay, so this is how we see these things. Okay, uh, I did some experiment. Let me see if the text still exists here. Kompasiana. Let me see uh, my if my text still there. <laughs> that has been long time ago. Huh? <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Can I do something like this? No. Nope. Uh. Oh, okay. Uh. Okay. No. This is the text. Uh, this is the result of my coding. This one from this book. So I use this book. Uh, I am not using orange on this one. I use this book, and then this is the example of the results. Uh, this is about the election in Jakarta, 2017. That means what? Seven years ago. <laughs> so basically. I analyze the text uh, of the uh, from news, text news, uh, seven years ago using uh, during the Jakarta election, and then this is what happened. Uh, okay, let me see if I can. So this is the example of the text. Uh, this particular text is. Okay, uh, it's not seen clearly now. Wow, they changed the. Uh, they changed the. Uh, okay, they changed the. Uh, the labeling uh, becomes. Uh, 
This is wrong actually. Wow, okay. So in the original text, I, I'm not saving the original text, I don't know. I think I'm not saving the original text. Let me see if I have it here. But I think I'm not saving here. Uh, text mining. Sometimes I save my text here. Uh, let me see if I can get something there. This is the method. Nothing to do but text. Okay. Uh, but this is wrong. This is not correct. Uh, someone changed the uh, graphics basically. So the original one, uh, when we analyze the uh, text from the uh, news during uh, Jakarta election, if I use Ahok, uh, then uh, the graph will show Ahok, it'll show uh, pengadilan, will show uh, that kind of stuff. So yes, Ahok is strong, <coughs> but <coughs> but the other words connecting to Ahok is not a good words. We understand during the Jakarta election, Ahok were uh, then jailed by the uh, uh, by the uh, pengadilan. So uh, we can see actually from the actual text. So the actual text is not this one. Uh, the actual uh, graph so someone actually changed the graph or something i don't know but i i'm not saving the the uh, data so i can sh cannot show you and this one uh, oh this one is the text from anis uh, no ah they changed many things uh so when i oh it should be like this. So I use Agus Silvi, Ahok, and Anis as keyword for searching uh, news in the media during the Jakarta election. When I use Agus Silvi, the, uh, the most word used in the text is actually Ahok. This. So this is not... Uh, so the... I use Agus Silvi as keyword, but when I uh, calculate the uh, text, it show Ahok more frequent. It means Agus Silvi actually attacking Ahok, and Ahok, Ahok words is uh, the uh, frequency is very frequent. So the Ahok uh, word is big like this. The and then. Uh, it means the branding of Agus Silvi is not as good as Ahok. So we can say something like that. When we use, when I use Ahok, uh, then I can see Ahok is very strong. That means it, his brand is very strong. Unfortunately, uh, there are several words is not a good words. For example, uh, words uh, pengadilan, words in Islam, something like that, that will, uh, that's actually creating problem for Ahok, then Ahok goes to jail because of that, okay? Okay, uh, when I use Anis as the words, and then actually, uh, see, this one is wrong. Actually, uh, Baswedan is the most frequent word, uh, frequently, uh, mention word in Anis. So actually, Anis is under Baswedan. <laughs> so Anis is not, uh, so normally Baswedan is the, the most frequent word uh, shown when I use Anis as keyword. Okay. So based on that, we can see what happened. We can predict what happened uh, during uh, the election. Okay. So I use this one. I use so orange has this that kind of capacity this kind of capacity but uh, we need to to change a lot the uh, 
the uh, parameters to be able to get the uh, most of the uh, this okay this is Trump Trump America Hillary Trump great great Trump <laughs> so we have to uh, <laughs> To be very slowly, so, oh, okay, this one, America, <coughs> America great, make America great. So this actually most frequently used word as well, make America great, okay, make, um, make America, America great. So this another word that frequently occur in the uh, tweet and this one also. So we can play around with this. So the... Uh, Remember, the code is like something like this. Okay. Let me see if I can do something like this. Okay. What happens if I move it like this? Can it show something different? Okay. Similar. Okay. So I can fit the, uh, the back of words directly to corpus of network. We can pre-process. Uh, we can uh, regular expression. We can split the text into words. Okay, here what happened now? If I can split the text into words, see what happened here. Same, not much different. Make America great. Hillary Clinton in one side and then Donald Trump in uh, other side. So we have Hillary Clinton, Clinton, Hillary Clinton, and then we have Donald Trump, and then we have Make America Great. That's the keyword during the in the tweet uh, during the election. Okay, we can do the same thing. Uh, let me play around with with other uh, data. Let me see if I can change this data into Anderson. This is AC Anderson. Uh, most uh, only 30 most frequent tokens. Uh, see what happened here. Beauty, even, F, away. <laughs> Oh, okay, let me uh, give more 80, for example, what happened here. One set, good, beauty, poor, so it doesn't make sense. <laughs> but we can see how, how it uh, calculate things like that so we we need to play around with these things and then see what happened of course we can always use different language we can use Indonesian language here as corpus uh, if we have a text not corpus we can do something like this uh, for example we have I have text here oops sorry uh, I have a file uh, called 10e strategy uh, 2024 okay uh, there's a file like this okay of course I can always use uh, chat GPT I can do something like that to chat GPT uh, let, let us compare between chat GPT and orange Oops. Start now. Okay. So the text is this. Uh, uh, this actually, the, the actual text is I grab it from news. Okay. And then I ask ChatGPT to uh, create a summary of this uh, uh, 10E strategy from the following news. Okay. So I can do something like this with, with ChatGPT. Okay, so we chat GPT is easier to to use to analyze text. So we have uh, five uh, major strategy in our, our armed forces. 
focus in defense, uh, neutrality of the armed forces, uh, uh, security operation, synergy and collaboration, and education. So these three is detected in the text. Can Orange do the same thing? Okay, this is much easier using large language model. Uh, can uh, this Orange do the same thing? So we need to remove this one. So basically this is corpus because our file is text file. So we need to go to textable. Sorry, this one textable. Yes, sorry, this is text file. Okay, uh, I need to browse and then orange and then this one. Okay, this is the actual file. It's sorry. Ah, crash. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It crash. Uh, doesn't work. It crash. Okay. If it doesn't crash, okay. Well, okay. It crash. So. It's sorry. No data sent to output yet. Clear. Click send. Crash. Okay, I have problem with the uh, Python of Orange. It it's not installed correctly. If it's installed correctly, this one doesn't work. So. So if it is working correctly, then we can do something like this. So we can read a text file, and then we, we need to change a text file into corpus. So what we need is, uh, where is the uh, conversion? Text file into corpus. There is a URL preprocess context uh, this one interchange so interchange is to change the uh, text file into corpus basically a corpus is a text file in excel <laughs> so basically corpus is a text file but in excel okay so i think we can build a corpus using excel file but we have to save it into csv then we can or uh, not using comma but using tab then we can save it as corpus and read as corpus. And this one, this one doesn't work, so we can move this like this. Uh, text file into exchange, but this one doesn't work, so I need to move. If we already have corpus, then we can fit the corpus into here. Okay, uh, we can fit the uh, text mining corpus into uh, pre-processed text and then we can do the rest and we can analyze the uh, graph using network explorer okay so that's how we we normally do it but this one this one doesn't work so uh, we cannot nope no it's just it's just uh, loading loading and loading and it doesn't work so we have to i have to i don't know i have to reinstall again orange and hope this one working sometimes that's not work so at at this point is, is there any questions let me see the chat box <laughs> how about if we create a data set or combining any uh, this is a question from uh pa Ar Adian Shah Putra. How about if we create the data set or combining data, for example, predict trade flow? There are several features on trade data. Uh, I am a bit confused. Which first create data set to decide the method? Uh, decide the method, then adjusting the data set. Uh, we can do both ways. <laughs> there is no. Uh, 
no single rules so we can do both ways you can set the data first and decide the method or evaluate the, the several method so we can set the data and evaluate uh, several method or uh, but we need to understand for each method basically it has uh, plus minus for each method let me see so for each method like this uh, when you have been playing with the data for some times then you can understand the uh, plus minus for each method okay i will remove this one okay okay for example uh, uh, linear regression we can only analyze linear data logistic regression we can analyze only for uh, sorry linear target this one logic regression is for uh, if the target has uh, several not linear values okay it's normally a classification target then we can use logistic regression uh, some of this data can be used for both for linear target or for classification target for example three random forest sometimes it can be used both but then we need to uh, test the precision the error if it is linear data normally we will see error if is if it is a classification target we can see precision okay so precision is normally used for for classification target uh, error is normally used for uh, linear target okay so we play around with this one uh, and for big data very big data then especially image data then we can use neural network but if it is not uh, uh, image data i normally i am not normally neural i am not normally use neural network i normally use uh, three random forest it seems like random forest is more uh, easily more easy to use uh, is not consuming cpu a lot and will it will give a uh, very good quite good results okay gradient boosting seems to give uh, good uh, results but it will consume a lot of uh, computing power if it is classification sometimes i use uh, k nearest network KNN or SVM we can use for classification as well okay if we want to uh, what, combine several method we can combine several method to analyze certain data uh, by using stacking stacking is combining several method okay for example like this okay uh, for example we have let me see if I can titanic data okay if we use titanic data <coughs> uh, we can test the data using this one uh, test score okay then we can uh, check the uh, Oh, linear doesn't work. Of, co of course, it it will not work in Titanic data. data Titanic data is classification. Okay, for example, we have this and three. Okay, then we can see uh, it has three give uh, random forest give the best results. Uh, sorry, uh, more precise result from random forest. And then we can stacking several method here and then for example in this one i will stack logistic regression naive bias and random forest okay okay then we can test this as well so we can stack several method together and then see what happened okay this one 
stack. Uh, still random forest is better. <laughs> so <coughs> by doing so, we can <coughs> we can analyze how uh, how we approach uh, what kind of algorithm we can use to analyze certain type of data. Okay, see this by stacking is not solving the problem actually. So we can still use random forest will give you a best uh, better results. Okay, so that's how how we do things. <laughs> so this is much quicker to see things. It's quicker this way. Okay, so there are option like this. Okay, let me see if there is any more questions. Okay, uh, uh, the first meeting, to be honest, the first meeting, I fail when I record the uh, video. <laughs> so, sorry, I don't have any uh, recording of the uh, first meeting. Uh, uh, but if you like, if you like, you can do something like this. You can go to Ono Center. Okay, uh, go to videos, and then there are a lot of video or, or not videos. Do I have a... I need to go to... Uh, data engineering, data science stuff. go to ono center <coughs> click playlist and then go to this one deep learning oops okay uh in this playlist uh data engineering playlist uh, it has 334 videos in it and then you can see this one let me see the introduction. Uh, so it has something about the prediction uh, forecasting time series. So uh, the I'm looking for the introduction stuff. Something like this. This is most likely introduction. Uh, this is most likely. Wow. Okay. Seriously. Oh, nine hours. This is in IT camp. 2019 uh, this most likely introduction so we we are guessing which one the introduction I'm sorry the our first meeting I fail when I record the uh, class okay so we can see this thing here so look for introduction uh, and also this is from my other previous classes so you can see and it it's not necessary orange some of them are using python uh, tensorflow class and so everything okay for example uh, this is uh, using google collab so you call you google collab is uh, normally python okay let me see if there's anything this is about NLP. NLP is Python, but uh, better use uh, large language model da than NLP now. Spider is Python. This is how to install Spider for beginner. Uh, what else? So from the keyword, we may know whether it is Python or Orange. You are welcome to see this one is Python web scrapping. This is how scrapping the web using Python. So yes, uh, you are welcome to see 334 videos. Some of them are for introduction. Uh, very similar to our first meeting actually. Okay. So that's the intro. What else? In terms of... For the international student can follow to the... I feel lost something okay 
uh, how many? We have five minutes more. <laughs> I, I can redo the uh, intro. <laughs> It's okay. Uh, uh, I will answer the last question first. In terms of try to seek most suitable model on bigger data set, is there any method how to simplify the data set before we try to move Python? Okay, normally, if we, before we process a bigger data, I normally split the data. So I normally use this one, data sampler. You can use Python to do the data sampler as well. So I normally use this data sample, uh, sampler and I can fix how many percentage of the data will be processed first. Okay, so we we can process only 20% of the data or we can shift this, change this. Uh, 72, 70 something, we, uh, 93% or that, uh, that way. Uh, that's it. So we can do something like this. Okay, data sampler. So, and then we can generate the data. Uh, but uh, remember some of the... Uh, some of the uh, model will be different between uh, 20% sample and 90% sample. So we need to check every time using test and score uh, what kind of result we can get if the data is 20%, what kind of precision we can get if the data, uh, if the model use 80 something percent. Okay, now I have three minutes. Uh, I will go for <coughs> my earlier uh, earlier introduction. So in the introduction, I use Google Map normally. Google Map uh, to show between the difference between prediction and classification. So the easiest way is by using traffic. So this is classification type. Okay, so we can see the uh, green is uh, fast. We have traffic jam in red uh, zone. That's uh, that's classification basically. So that's how I visualize. Normally when I give the introduction, I use Google Map, and this is how to visualize. Uh, Uh, classification and then I normally ask how Google can get the data from so basically in the process we normally uh, do spying on someone else phone basically we need to get the data from somewhere someone the data normally from uh, intelligent process uh, sometimes legal sometimes illegal <laughs> okay, so that's the uh, classification uh, process. The other classification process is go to online shop, for example, Tokopedia. This is online shop. Okay, and the, in the online shop, uh, we can see uh, what's this uh, advertisement. And I normally ask whether every single person have will receive the same advertisement of course all of you will say no the advertisement will be different for different person and that's classification again how the uh, the store will classify the uh, person is not then that's actually the intelligent how they do the intelligent uh, intelligent process how they spying on us okay The spying on us by uh, monitoring what kind of stuff we buy and what kind of stuff we search and that's the base of of their classification okay and that's classification stuff and then for forecasting stuff then we can do something like this uh, Tangerang to Jakarta direction Tangerang to Jakarta Okay, that's forecasting. We can see the uh, condition of traffic now 
because we are living now if we change the uh, depart at tomorrow which is not happening of course it's the same but if we this is at night if we change it into at sorry into morning time 8 a.m. in the morning uh, we can see traffic jam here oops oops <laughs> okay we can see traffic jam here in the morning it is tomorrow Wednesday 24th 8 a.m. it will traffic jam here it's not happening yet but Google will predict it will traffic jam here and normally it is traffic jam <laughs> so how can they do the forecasting basically the way they do the forecasting they uh, normally I will ask how can Google do the forecasting so they will do the forecasting by uh, analyzing the historical data and we can see the historical data from here your timeline so that's the uh, mindset explore your timeline script whoop nope history off oh because this is my account in in president university there is no timeline here my other account i have timeline <laughs> okay so basically that's it let me see if i finish what if this is from Fat, Pak Fatur Rahman yeah. what if we only have a small data set how to augment our data set how to check whether our augmented is reliable <sighs> augment is more difficult uh, to be honest I, I never done that but if it is uh, we have missing data not augment a lot of data if we have missing data we can uh, there is option for uh, we can aggregate we can but there is no augmented there is uh, there is uh, for missing data so there is an option for filling the uh, select row transfer row. input this one so this one is for adding data to missing data but not augment a lot of data so there is no option for augmenting a lot of data here have no idea yet uh, you need googling or you need uh, gemini to to do those things so i don't know for augment, augmenting a lot of data uh, sorry pak fatur i cannot answer for augmenting a lot of data and checking whether it's reliable because augmenting is not something uh what's that it's not something uh generic it's not something part of the data if it is uh augment by human which is not uh not original i don't know how can we make it reliable i have no idea pak azar abizar is it available for us to export the prompt for orange into python language no <laughs> sorry so there is no no option for exporting from orange to python so uh, basically orange we we will get the id the workflow the mindset the how uh, the thinking process and then we have to look for the actual coding in python okay so for example this one uh, for example this modeling okay so we need to look for for random forest or tree or whatever so we we need to uh, the easiest way we use gemini uh, give oops sorry if uh what that give uh, ran, uh show ran, random forest 
uh, in Python. Something like that. So, uh, so basically, this one is reading data. This one is uh, setting which one is the target column and so on. And this one is uh, uh, train set uh, test. So split between uh, train and test data, train data and test data. data. Uh, this is for splitting. And this one, this one is the actual random forest classifier. So as simple as this one line, okay? But we need to find it. <laughs> it's not as user friendly as orange. It is only few lines, but we need to uh, uh, rewrite the whole coding this way, okay? Sorry, it's not as simple as orange, but uh, you you can you can guess you can get the id from orange and then you can read the uh, the uh, source code and visualize in orange okay this must be reading the data this is file reading and this is for splitting the data and this this is uh or or this one is to select the actual classifier this one is to train the classifier and then this one to predict the uh, the data using test data so this one is test data predict and this is to print the accuracy where is the uh, this one is critical accuracy so we can we can we can, we we do something like this so there is no direct conversion from orange to python okay okay so it's 2022 uh we can close our meeting for today Thank you very much. If you have any question or... Oh, I forgot one thing. About the uh, exam, uh, I can see here in the machine open course, ITTS ACID, some seems to be working. So you are welcome to use this machine open course. Or if you are not... Uh, not... not not secure you don't feel secure with open course you are you are oh, sorry you are welcome to use this machine as well okay lms how come <laughs> uh this this machine have a lot of problems so but it works uh it's more stable but I need to format this machine because this is like eight to nine years old already. So it's, it's quite old. The uh, PHP is old, uh, everything is old. So I need to format this machine. But you are welcome to use this machine, LMS, and you are welcome to use this machine. I will post the uh, mark, your mark, in the mail, uh, hopefully tomorrow. So you can check whether you are good enough or you need to do uh, the ex uh, more exam. The exam can be done many times, no, uh, no uh, limit. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, I will close the meeting for today, and hopefully uh, we can see next week. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Terima kasih, Pak Wiranto. Okay.